This Formula One circuit in Montreal is named after Gilles Villeneuve, a brilliant young Canadian who in the mid-1970s took the Formula One world by storm by never doing anything by halves. Whether he was racing snowmobiles in Berthierville where he grew up, whether he was mixing it with the internationals in Formula Atlantic, or whether he was completing his first Formula One races for McLaren and then Ferrari, Gilles Villeneuve knew only one way to drive and that was flat out. He had the skill and the touch, what's more, to pull it off. He won the inaugural race here late in 1978 on the public roads of the Ile Notre Dame. And on the podium, as snowflakes fell, he celebrated with the Canadian Prime Minister, Pierre Trudeau. A new national hero had arrived. A Canadian had won in Formula One for the first time, a Quebecois. The crowd loved him, and it was Gilles' first win on home soil. He went on to win on many of the world's great Grand Prix circuits at Monaco, Harama, Kailami, Watkins Glen. Long Beach, and he played a pivotal role in Ferrari's 1979 Formula One World Championship win. He died young with many wins yet to be celebrated, but he was always quick on anything with wheels, and his impact on the sport has left an indelible trail. It's amazing, uh, because that's what you expect from artists, or not sportsmen. I, I guess it's partly because he was the first Canadian to, to really uh, do it at the international level and then obviously when he, he won his first Grand Prix here in Montreal and it was the first time there was an F1 race in Montreal that I think that sealed it. Everybody remembers number 27 as being the amazing number but that's the number that he passed away with it's not it's not the main number for me the main number is the number 12 that's the one he, he won his first race with and that's the one he fought for the championship with so to me that's a much better number. I guess as a kid you just see your dad as being your dad and with, with the years you, he starts just becoming that, that racing uh, hero that everybody respects and, and it's easier to see the achievements and also the mistakes because when he's your father you only see everything as positive so, so you can start judging when it was but what you could see is, is the passion, uh, the, the passion of being behind the wheel but not only that the passion of pushing the envelope and, and pushing the the mechanical pieces of the car. Uh, part of his fun was to see if he could destroy it or not. But it's not only the driving bit, it's, it's like I said before, pushing the limit. Uh, uh, because he was the same, if he, if he went on skis, he was the same as he was in a race car, he was the same when his helicopter, in, in anything he was doing. So racing was just the extreme of it because it was international and it was the biggest thing in the world. So it was also professional, where all the other things were just for fun. So obviously, where you want to perform is is where it's the biggest and that's Formula One but that's just the way he was in life and it wasn't linked to Formula One it wasn't linked to cars it wasn't linked to mechanical things it was linked to anything with speed an element of danger and also an element of judgment judging where the limit is and and what you can do as a human being as a driver as, as a skier or, or whatever to make a little different to you know you'll do a lap or two and then you think okay I think I was on the limit but somehow I have to find another tenth how can I find it can I find it with my driving can I find it on the setup and, and that's something that, uh, that, he, that he found very exciting and I think that's something that um, I took from him like, in the blood, I guess. <laughs>